Hello and welcome to Non-Stop Wrestling Chat. My name is Barry and this is your N- sorry, AEW review. NXT was yesterday. <laughs> Literally for the past what, 14 days there's been a wrestling review every day. And it's just starting to all you know, kind of mesh together. <laughs> right guys, let's before we get into the review, in fact, don't forget to drop a like, hit subscribe and hit that bell so you can get a notification when I upload these videos. So let's get into the review here. So AEW, quick thoughts first of all. Wasn't the greatest show, it was actually pretty average again. So it's been two weeks in a trot, it was quite just middle of the road average. Um, good story progression, uh, well some story progression, okay matches. Nothing really bad and nothing really good. It's really middle of the road show. It, it, again, I hope this doesn't continue, but um, let's get into it. So first of all, we had the Young Bucks versus Dustin Rhodes and QT Marshall. Young Bucks picked up the win. Two stars, perfectly average match. It was around the five, six minute mark. But um, yeah, it was just a really perfectly average match. It was just okay. Then next we have the Best Friends versus the Young Bucks. And the winner was the Best Friends. 2.5 stars for this. It was just about 10 minutes. I enjoyed this one a lot more than the first one. It still felt like there was something missing though. Then we had FTR versus the best friends. FTR picked up the win. This match was too short to really get going. It kind of was like four minutes, five minutes, just under four. Um, I gave this 1.5. These th- three, the middle of the three matches were was good, but the other two were really just kind of going through the motions really but uh yeah then we had Sean versus Lance Archer Lance Archer picks up the win I didn't give this any stars because it was just a squash match it was like two or three minutes and then we, we get Jake the Snake he's in the ring talking about the 20 men who think they can beat Lance in the Casino Battle Royal only one man will walk out the winner and it better damn sure be Lance Lance says as fast as they enter the ring they'll get tossed out. Jake goes on a little bit till he gets cut off by Brian Cage. Taz wants to slow Jake Roberts down. They've never crossed path. The murder hawk will be will not be sorry guys, will not be <laughs> victorious. They kinda of go on a little bit here. Um till Darby Allen's music hits. In fact, Jake Snake Roberts says something before this, it was really weird. He goes he says that they should put on a, a chicken suit. <laughs> yeah, he says they should put on a chicken suit because they're ready to get plucked. <laughs> anyway, so Darby Allen's music hits. Um, he, comes, he skateboards to the ring, flies into it, attacks Starks. He fights Starks a little bit. Starks runs off to the back. Darby chases him. Lance and Cage here to have a face off. Jack holds him back. There's a chant, let them fight. Taz holds Cage back. Um, and that's that's it. It was it was it was okay. It was it was nothing really special. Can't complain. I love seeing Jake Snake out there in the ring anyway. But uh, yeah, it really was nothing really special. Then we had the MGF contract signing. Now, guys, I'm not going to ramble on about this because I'm sure you are you are know this was a great segment. <laughs> MGF and Moxley put on a really great segment. They kind of are going back and forth. MGF says. Tell your your wife that I'm always here, which was a little bit oh, <laughs> getting mentioned because she's left WWE now. But uh, yeah, the it was a kind of standard contract signing. The stuff that was happening, the promos and stuff were really good, but the contract signing was kind of. Uh, but then uh, looks like Moxley's going to be facing MGF, his lawyer next week. Um, but if Paragon Shift is going to be available to use. It's not going to be in their match at the pay-per-view. I don't really know why he's going to be facing the lawyer. I know it's obviously something that will lead into it. Maybe like, I don't know, run-ins or some shit. But I don't really don't really look forward to seeing it. Hopefully it's something fun. After that we move on. have The Butcher, The Blade and The Lucha Brothers versus Joey Janela, Brian Pillman Jr., Sonny Kiss and Griff Garrison. The Butcher, The Blade and The Lucha Brothers pick up the win here. Two stars, guys. This one 
didn't really do anything for me. Seemed like it was missing a lot. Again, it was a middle of the road match. It just really wasn't anything to get into. So then we get uh, a cool little bit was Eddie Kingston. Sorry, guys, my camera feels really weird. Oh, Jesus. Sorry, guys. <laughs> uh, Eddie Kingston enters the ring. The crowd are chatting his name. He tells him to shut up because he knows his name. Brings up the Casino Battle Royal. Then the Dark Order had this fucking really cringy segment with like a coffin with somebody in it. So a kid on it was Cody. Anyway, it ended up Cody came running out, fighting off the Dark Order. Young Bucks came to the aid. Nothing really special, guys. It really was pretty pish poor, to be honest with you. The next one was. Next match was Big Small versus Rebel and Penelope Ford. Big Small picked up the win. This is zero stars. There was a lot of sloppiness. It just really wasn't that good. Then we had the tables match with Matt Hardy and Sammy Guevara. Now, I really thought they would have gave this a little bit longer, but they did. They gave it like six minutes. Seven minutes. It wasn't even that, that long. Sammy Guevara picked up the win. I gave it 2.5 stars because it really was like a middle of the road kind of match. But uh, big win for Sammy. It was pretty good seeing him pick up the win here. He put he did put in a good match. And both of them did do good in the the ring there. Obviously Sammy being the younger one, but um, again nothing special. It was just nothing really special. After it, Orange Cassidy comes out. He attacks Jericho. There's a back and forth. It's obviously building up for whatever's happened next with them. <laughs> Overall, guys, I gave this 2.5 stars. It just really was a really kind of hard to get into show. Never really seemed to kick up into gear. Yeah, it just never really seemed to kick up into gear. It was a solid, solid show, solid wrestling, mostly solid promos and segments. But it, it was just average overall. It was nothing really like mega special. Um, I guess it's kind of their setting up for the pay per view. I just couldn't get into this at all. I really, really just couldn't get into it at all. There was nothing really. Nothing overly bad happened, but nothing overly good happened either. It was just like, I watched it and it was there. The MGF segment was obviously gold as normally segments are, but overall it was just average, which is a little bit of a letdown because I was expecting a little bit more from AEW, but. I suppose a hot streak can't run all the time. I, like anything, you get ups and downs. Let's hope this is just a little bit of a down to the pay-per-view and then they put on a good show there. Anyway, guys, I'll let you go enjoy the rest of your day. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. I'll be here tomorrow with the SmackDown review. And let's hope to God that SmackDown is good this week. <laughs> anyway, guys, enjoy the rest of your day.